Now, some of you may remember that last year I went to visit exactly. flower grower and arranger Janie Gould in Inch. She explained her philosophy of why she grows cut flowers. The philosophy behind the business is to encourage people to think about where their produce comes from. People are doing that more with food, and I think the same should happen with flowers. So I'm locally grown, I don't use chemicals, there's no pesticides, obviously there's no air mile, so it's ecologically it's the right choice. And then Janie showed us an easy way to arrange flowers using, would you believe, sellotape? It's very simple, everyone's got a pair of scissors, everybody's got a little sellotape. And um, this looks like a goldfish bowl. <laughs> well, it, it, yeah, it is a flower bowl. It could be a goldfish bowl. You could use a soup bowl, for example. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could scale it down. Just use what's at hand. So no need for oasis. And, and you're squashing the cell tape. So what does that make it a bit stronger? Well, it just makes it a bit stronger. It also creates more sort of holes. So that's done reasonably quickly. With Very quickly. With a few ingredients. So we thought Janie would be the best person to ask to brighten up our homes using handy things that we have around us. Now Janie filmed this by herself. Hello and welcome to Janie's Floristry Hacks for anybody at home. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hanging wreath just like the one that's above my head at the moment. What we're going to use, as I think most people have in their homes, is a couple of coat hangers, wire coat hangers. So what I've done is I've taken one to bits and I've made it into a circle and I've just sellotaped it at the end. Really simple. So I'm going to do the second one because we need two rings. I'm going to make this into a circle to fit inside this one so you've got two layers. This cell tape will help keep the two rings kind of in place. And now we're going to move on to decorating it. This is moss I've raked up from the lawn. Uh, so it gets rid of the moss and makes your lawn nicer and you can use it for making lovely wreaths. So all I'm going to do is pack this around here. Florist use forestry wire. Not everybody's got that in their house. If you do have finished wire, then that is a good thing to use. I'm just going to use string. This is green string. Uh, I'm just going to wind it round quite tightly to keep that moss in place. So here we have a lovely wreath ring covered in moss ready to be decorated. You would never think that underneath there there was a couple of scabby old coat hangers. Now I've got some periwinkle here which is brilliant for making a little chandelier bit. You're almost creating like a little knot. I'm going to pull that up to the edge there and it'll hang down. I'm going to do the same with the ivy leaves. This is where the benefit of just using a leaf comes in because ivy stems are quite strong but they're also flexible. Now there's it from the front. It kind of does look like a proper wreath. I have some Euphorbia robii which is resplendent at the moment. I love with these push through the moss just to give it some give, pop this through and pull that right up until I can feel it that's quite stiff now. There we go, that's not going to come out. Okay, the good thing about using anything with a, a twig like the cherry and like this viburnum is the twig's quite strong so that should stay fine. Now, that is starting to look, I think, pretty nice. And then we hang upside down. There. Now to hang it up, all I've done is put three points, wrap string around the wreath, just tied it in each of these three points, put the string up, found a level, so it's going to sit level. And there you have it, ready to hang up at a place of your choosing. So let's put this one up here. Alternatively, you can just hang it on your front door for guests to feel very welcome when they do come around eventually. Okay, thanks everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay safe and take care. Bye bye for now. Well, that's really great, Jamie. And you know, I think I might give that a go at home. Now we're going to try and answer some more of your gardening questions. And I'm going to start off first.